It's the J Show. It's the J Show. It's the J Show. It's the J Show. Greetings and welcome to the J Tay Show. Welcome to the J Tay Show. Thank you so much for joining us, y'all. When you see this, it will be my official day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. God. I started off with you started at the beginning. See, this is not how the show is going to go. Happy birthday and congratulations, Jay Bass, on your new single. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, even as we get ready to go into chapter 13 of crushing, it just made me think about all the crushing that we've endured to make it to this place because it has not been easy to get to 40, to get to 41. And I sure didn't think I would make 42. But God. Truly, as I release yeah. your grace and mercy, I know something about God's grace and his mercy. Uh, uh, uh. It is time to celebrate. It is, you know, I have, we're, we're kind of getting off on the JT show, but hey, That's we will get into crush and That's right. We go where we need to go. I have been kind of on Chante about even wanting to do this party. And there was something I read in, even in this chapter that kind of convicted me because for someone to want to show you love by doing something like this and putting their time and their resources into it and say that I think you're worth celebrating if you think you're not or not, or if you think other people don't think that you're worth celebrating, I think that you're worth celebrating. And so I'm doing this so that I can show you my celebration. And just thinking about that and kind of, you know, it came up in reading this, it just makes a difference. And so I'm trying to become more comfortable with going through this on Sunday, but we've kind of been going back and forth since I first found out about the party because I just, when you, part of the crushing, part of the crushing has been constant disappointments and discouragement mm -hmm. from trying to do events like this. And so, you know, thank God that this truly is a new season. We can see favor in so many areas today Shantae was at a conference and ended up winning the grand prize which is some some great <laughs> piece of tech that we, she has no clue how to work out to go to workshop to learn how to work it but the favor really has been undeniable just in you know us being able to testify about where we stand with our classes and just all the different things that are going on this season uh, if you're keeping up with our different shows the jay bass today show and this jay tay show you'll know that we talked about uh in the jay bass today show was that last week yeah i think it was last week of uh, going through and really looking back on the past 10 years or so and looking at what we actually have been able to accomplish because sometimes one of the tricks of the enemy is to cause you to to look at one thing and miss out on another thing and although there were days that were that seemed like nothing got done or that you know was was wasted there were days of productivity uh, there were days that we were having our JBAS Ministries meeting and setting our agenda and accomplishing things. And so we've got to be able to remember that to keep the momentum now. You know, we find ourselves slacking, but then as we remember, then we are able to move forward. So y'all, welcome to the JT Show. Welcome to the JBAS birthday edition of the JT Show. Okay, come on. Official day. It is this that is you are seeing this. It is when you are seeing this, it is literally official at that moment. You know, just I, I did prepare a speech, even though it's not my birthday. I prepared oh. a speech to say on Jay's birthday. Oh, okay, for a prepared speech. Oh, oh, 
on me. And it is so crazy. You would think that a person would be just happy about a birthday party or, you know what I'm saying? Somebody and especially a stuff. person with birthday, who want to be the birthday man and all this kind yeah. of stuff. But, you know, but that's with say, other people's birthday. I guess yeah. I should say it here because I, I, you know, as I, you know how you think about something and you think about, should I really say it? Mm -hmm. And I don't really think I should really say it, but it's I, this is a JT show, and my name is Tay, so I can say what I want to on the JT show. Okay. And it's sad that a person don't want to do something in life because of other people, because of wow. how other people has made them feel, wow. not because of a celebration. A wow, celebration. I hadn't even thought of that. Not because wow. and that was in my that was in my speech. Wow. And I'm thinking wow. I was gonna say because of y'all. Then a person who loves to celebrate. I was going to say, oh, I'm going to say my speech here. The crushing that Jay has endured over the years wow. is not because he didn't want stuff to happen. Right. It's not because he didn't plan, prepare, put money into, and time, and prayer, and everything that goes into planning something. It's because people don't support. And that's enough to knock a person off of the edge when people say they're hanging on by a thread, that's enough to make a person let go of the thread because why would I continue to do things with no support? And I think with that, the biggest part of it is when you're just like, you know, planning the conferences and things. I mean, of course, we are going to be benefited in knowing that somebody else came to be helped. But that's the that's the mission. You know, we the the prices that we set for registration and things is so that we can add gift bags and, right. and giveaways and stuff like that. Yeah. We do not I, I don't think we've ever we have ever come out of a conference in the black. We mm -hmm. always spend our money, our time and our effort to host these things and then comes to a lack of support and it's just like okay we again we invested in this and we didn't do it because this is something we're trying to make money on this is really literally ministry in our hearts that we are trying to get out because we've been crushed because we've been shattered we know how it feels and we want to be able to provide a space for others to be able to be helped and for all of us to get some help, to get some pointers and how to deal with some of this stuff. And for these things to be poorly attended, it does, it is, it is disappointing. It really is. And of course, the the thing that we always have to go back to is remembering our why. I put that down today. I actually was inboxed uh, from a young lady who's doing some kind of spotlight of uh, Galveston County musicians and she asked me a barrage of questions. And the final question was, what advice would I give to future musicians? And that was my response, that you have to remember your why. When people are being critical of what you're doing, how you're playing, how you're singing, how you're songwriting, how you're recording. I've been, I have been criticized in each and every one of those areas. And from a young age, if I would have not been dedicated because of my why and because it was my passion, I would have given it up. When you're discouraged in your home and outside of your home from doing something and then you're singing and they say you sound a mess, they say your, your recording sound a mess, that's everything that you're doing, they're saying sounds a mess and you're a musician. So you got to be able to really remember, especially because you're writing the music. You're doing some of these things because you want somebody else to be helped. You don't want, I know, and, and Shantae and I have talked about this before, that the music has helped me. I just watched a video of us on a previous birthday party. Uh, they, they were singing one of my original compositions that's due to come out, I think, on volume eight. It hadn't even come out yet. Uh, but we did a live session. And so the singers were there in that place and they started singing the song. And I heard my three-part harmony. They were excited to sing it, brought it back. I'm thinking, okay, you know, it's not in vain. Mm -hmm. And they, I saw you on in the corner crying. But uh, <laughs> you're going to go, you have to go check it out. <laughs> but uh, Danielle, put, Danielle shared it on Facebook and just, you know, it's moments like that, especially as a songwriter, when others express how the song has blessed them, it, it kind of goes in, in, in a salve 
for the other times where people have criticized your music. You could put that compliment on that area that you're still kind of uh, dealing with and kind of figuring out how to how to get through this. Well, I got some salve to put on it because mm -hmm. even though they saying this and they're saying that, somebody is being blessed by the music, which is the ultimate goal. You know, I, I'm on just, and I always have to say this as a public, public service announcement. I don't say things to stroke your ego. That's that's. I just want y'all to know that. Please. But, because, you know, some people may think, oh, because I'm your friend, mm -hmm. I'm going to always vouch, but I'm not. If it's, if you know, I have, don't give up as my ringtone. And it's been for it's years, been literally. Years. It really literally has been for years. Seriously. I thought she was going to be done changed it. Not change that song. That is literally, and I have a lot of favorites of Jay's, and not because it's Jay's music, and it's because it's the lyrical content of the songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see, even her saying lyrical content is a part of my duty and my work, yeah, and her being able to say lyrical content. That's what's sitting on the Jay Bass teaching. That's Jay Bass right. Teaching. That's <laughs> right. Oh, oh God. God, that's it. But, Sunday in Sunday school, the preacher that was pre pre uh, speaking, he said, I don't care how much you pray, how much you sing, how much you do this, how much you do that. The word must go forth in order to God to reign or something. I disagree with that mm -hmm. because the lyrical content of those the songs has, are has message. Word. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Telling somebody not to give up, that is biblical. That is the word. How can that not get inside of you and you, you know what I'm saying, you not feel a change. And lead you to Christ. Right. Give you give you a desire to want to know why I shouldn't give, give up. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I keep that as my, and, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I should change it to this song, but I was going, and that's even my alarm song. Like, oh. when, <laughs> when I said it, the wake me up when the sound, that's what I hear. And I'm like, for one, that's the first thing I'm here when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, if I have my sorrow. I know, tell them what you're going to go through that what day. You, but you look how you started it off. Uh -huh. Wow. And every time I bring in this song ring, I'm here and don't give up because you don't know what's on the other end of that call. That's true. It's you that got is to so true. Yourself. You know, I didn't grow up listening to gospel music. I know quartet and R&B and rap. Oh, uh -huh. you know, quartet is a little bit R&B sometimes, so you got to be careful. Oh, God. <laughs> so, you know, Jay only listens to gospel music. That's, every time you're in this car, you're going to hear a sermon of, or gospel music. You know, it took me a while to get to that point to just because you just never know how you need God protection mm. and if you put that stuff in your spirit That's exactly why you, you right. know, I yes. think about Yes. Sometimes driving and you know, people get into car wrecks. What were they listening to? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like what were, what was being poured into them? If uh, your last moment is in a car, do you really want somebody bumping and grinding or do you want wow, you know, God, you know, word in your in your you know what I'm saying, your spirit before wow, that last a, what moment? What a thought, Shantae. Come on, girl. <laughs> you know, that's, that's good. Yeah. Things I think about. Yeah. And yeah. To think about people saying that it's no good or the music is not going to, it's just how mm -hmm. it's not Jay Bass. I hear, and I think I asked him years ago, What do you think about when you hear yourself? And he was just like, I don't, you know, I just hear myself. But to me, it's just like, you don't see yourself as, you know, like if I was to turn on the radio and to have a choice of my music that I could hear. I probably would have a bit of an ego. <laughs> I mean, I probably would. I'm like, Oh, that's me, you know. But Jay is not like that. He's just just music to him. It's you know, it's just music. But you know what? And at the same time, it's ministering to me. That's why I do. I, you know, yeah. as much music as I'm exposed to, I do choose to listen to a lot of my own music mm -hmm. just because. First and foremost, I think it's because I know what I went through to get those songs recorded, the long processes and things like that, and then. It just really ministers uh, in such a way that you you want to uh, want to hear it over and over again. And so, yeah, thank God for that, y'all. We have gone several minutes. What, huh? Uh, okay, you want to go on and get in the question? Or are you still going through? Yeah, let's go. Get on.
We he's, are in chapter 13, guys. Mm -hmm. Did we say that? Uh-huh. Okay. And we're starting at the beginning of the chapter. We finished, wrapped up chapter 12 last week. That's what we're going to do about half of, of the chapter today. Uh, the, oh my gosh, quote that Bishop uses to open up the chapter says, the heart, like the grape, is prone to delivering its harvest in the same moment that it appears to be crushed. And this is by Roger Housden. And I thought that was just something interesting to highlight because you don't realize that even as you're being crushed, God is using what is coming out of you to actually produce harvest. And that, you know, you it, thinking about the, the, the conferences, you know, we have examples of this in real life that we can actually look at, see these things happening. We're being crushed, but... Um, at the same time, the harvest is being manifested in those who attended and were blessed by what they experienced at the conference. And so, again, it brings me back to the, our why, knowing that somebody and somebody is getting blessed, somebody is being encouraged, then our labor is not in vain, no matter how much money, how much time that we have invested into this. If one person out of all the discouragement and frustrations and issues in this life is encouraged to keep going or get something that they need, a tear out, a praise out. It was worth it because they needed that moment. And God used us to provide the moment. You know, I'm thinking about uh, Shattered this year, how crushed I was entering Shattered and leaving Shattered. Mm -hmm. And to get the cause of wanting a part two mm -hmm. and immediately immediately and when i make the phone calls telling because we were going to do and we still are going to do a part two and mm -hmm. add it with the cost of the yes mm -hmm. when i make the phone calls to not one speaker that was coming back but even the main speaker telling them that we were going to postpone they both were like no like why you know mm -hmm. like what we need to do to get it going and I'm like, that spoke, that was just encouraging. That they want to be, yeah. Right. And they're not doing it, you know, they're not just saying it because they're poor, but I believe it was a blessing to them. No matter how I felt about it, it was a blessing to them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's the part of this that, you know, you don't see. We yeah. see people hosting conferences. We see yeah. musicians uh, recording their music and uh, songwriters recording their music and trying to get their music out and all these different things that people are working toward and goals yeah. and dreams. But you have no clue of the behind the scenes of what it takes, the, the crushing that you endure to get it done. And it happens. It happens because you get no's. You get people who say yes and then renege. You have people that you have given specific instructions and then they go against that. You're paying them and they still don't give you what you have paid for. Oh, we have we we have been there and it just doesn't feel good. And so, you know, that but that's part of the crushing. It really is. Uh, but, you know, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's just like. Dust yourself off and try again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though you started off by saying people have talked about your your voice, your music, your recording, Still got up you have again. not stopped. That's you right. Have, you're, working, you're currently working on volume seven. Might have slowed down, but. But you haven't stopped. stopped. That's you, right. You know what I'm saying? You're getting ready to, well, as of today, you've released a new single. In spite of what people felt like. The new single will be released Sunday. Today, oh, the JT show is June 16th. And oh. today, as of today. Girl, yes, okay. Well, yo, it's Sunday. Sunday. That's right. Well, That's man, right. Wow. You know, you would have wow. taken those wow. criticisms, those criticisms and just completely and stopped. completely stopped. We wouldn't have greater, we sure we wouldn't have, have this. Greater. Yeah. We wouldn't. But. What if you know you would have gotten because I know that you I think you was doing the JBS Today show before it was even you know, you used to go live on Facebook all the time for the J-Bass Today Show. Mm -hmm. What if you would have stopped? We wouldn't have had a J-T show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, we wouldn't be, this is episode 31 for us. 31. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have even pick back up crushing because, like we said months ago, we started crushing a long time ago. Yeah. And we they tried it. Down. We, we sat it down. And even though it was blessing us then, it's just something new about how it has done us. 
this go around. God yeah. knew what we needed in this season. That's that's um, exactly right. So that's why he allowed us to sit it down because yeah. we was even able to find both of our books and when no yeah. help, he was to pick it right back up. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I just see it as literally dust yourself off and try again. Because that's literally what that's literally part of life. I mean, what we have been doing. What you've been doing without even noticing you're doing. That's God right. didn't affect you. That's right. But getting up and you know what I'm saying, doing it anyway, yeah. going after it, not letting what happened destroy and distract you from yeah. doing what you were supposed to do. And I think it's the same thing with the conferences. Although you say you never want to host again, you <laughs> can't, can't really say that. I you mean can't. Yeah. yeah, and it's it may be a personal one, but if God leads us to host a conference, we gotta do it. And have to, you know, that be especially being in this season where I'm really trying to do better in my spending uh and make sure that not only are we doing fundraisers to raise funds for the uh, J Bass songbook, that I am also being uh being caught. I'm being I am investing in this as well. Mm -hmm. And so that if somebody wanted to come and find out, yes, J Bass is investing in the, in himself first in making sure this is, I'm guilty. That's what I was looking for. I am guilty of also investing. And so then I don't want to put my money into, and it's not my money because it's truly God who blesses, but I don't want to put God's money into a conference. And it seemed like it was a waste when I know that the music that's going to be produced is going to leave a lasting legacy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, but not only that, it, you're guilty of it, but it's clearly noted because of the support of the, you know, the fundraisers. It's clear you're not, because you've already made a post and said how much a CD costs, mm -hmm. how much studio time costs. Mm -hmm. Clearly by the number of the support of the fundraisers, they, clearly you've got to be putting in your own money because it's not coming in from, from anybody else. Now right. it's helping, but it's not funding it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's right. So I have, I have to invest. That's yeah. the spirit in point blank. Okay. Well, Bishop goes on. He starts talking about the chapter is titled A Tasting with the King. And he talks about uh, people uh, hosting wine tastings, and he goes on about that. And then he goes into uh, the festivals that the Israelites would have in a, throughout Jewish history. Uh, and he said that each of the, the festivals represented a moment of Jewish history when God had done something miraculous on behalf of his children. And, you know, I I think that is so important. It is so important for us to, you know, that's why I love pictures. I love even being in this, this era of technology because just like the birthday uh, party at Chente's old apartment where everybody's gathered singing, we have documented proof as, as representing a moment in our history when God had done something that in my in my book, as far as how things have gone since then and before then, was a miraculous moment. I won't be able to forget that because I have a Facebook memory that every year around this time will remind me that this happened. And so if it happened before, no matter what's going on right now, God can send people to celebrate. And you don't have to worry about that. You just you just walk it out. But I think, again, just the thing that I got out of that was that it is so important to have those markers of representing our history with God and knowing and remembering, being able to point back to something and remember what the Lord has done. That is so important in our walk for us to be able to remember. You know, I think that's why not only Facebook, but pictures are mm -hmm. um, and videos are so important because you can... You know, I, I sit where I'm sitting there. Y'all don't know where I'm sitting, but where I sit, I sit every day. And when I'm looking towards the TV, I can look up and see my grandfather's picture every single day. And that I just absolutely love looking up there because even though my grandpa's not smiling, smiling. but that's who he was. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that just gives me so much joy thinking that day. I remember taking that picture that day and I walked through the house and I said, smile for the camera. And I remember <laughs> just... I can't tell y'all what the deacon said, but uh -oh. just thought he wasn't happy. Uh -oh. 
going off on the picture, <laughs> but I was able to hold on to that picture oh, yeah. for, so you know, for this long. That's right. That's and, amazing. You know, the memories, mm -hmm. it just, it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a good another good analogy, Shantae. You on the roll tonight, girl? Okay. It he's it goes on to say in the next section, harvest indicate tangibly how God had kept his promises to provide for his people. You know, when you have literally tangible things, just like we were we're talking about uh doing uh it's not door prize, trivia prizes. Uh maybe we could do door prizes too, Shantae. No, uh-oh. No? You don't do door prizes at birthday party? Oh, okay. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> giving away my CDs because really people don't listen to CDs anymore. And truly, you know, for me, those being able to hold those CDs, being able to give them to somebody is tangible proof of how God kept his promise with me pertaining to this music. And see, where I'm sitting, volume seven, eight, nine, and 10 are not done. And the thing about that is we're four years deep when I wanted to have all 10 of them done by 2020. That was the dream. That was the goal. And so four years later, I'm still working on those four projects. But the, the good news is I'm still working on those projects. I didn't let that bully get me away from working on the projects. And so, you know, just as I have that tangible proof to look back to and to be encouraged and say, okay, I was able to accomplish that. So if God allowed me to do that, he kept his promise to, to get this far, surely he will complete the work. This is his music. I always remind myself, this is his music and he's responsible for getting it out. I've got to walk it out. But he's responsible for making the ways. And just like he got my, my co-producer lined up and for us to have the connection that we do, uh, it's it's a God thing. It's, I was talking about earlier, the favor that we're seeing in this season. To me, I experience favor with him. And I honor God for that because that's the kind of person that I want to work with, not somebody who yeah. I can tell really doesn't believe in me and my abilities. He actually does. And so that makes a difference. It really does. You know, I just <laughs> to hear Jay say stuff like that is like it shows growth because Jay will be frustrated about it not being done oh, yeah. when he would want it to be, you know what I'm saying? Like if something was set out to be done, it's not done. That would have frustrated Jay and then possibly sent him into depression. But Jay is okay with and then but before I say that, before I forget. <laughs> when what was COVID? 2020. 2020. So you wanted the music to be released in 2020, not knowing that it was going to be in the middle of a global pandemic. But God knew it was going to be in the middle of a global pandemic. And pandemic. still allowed us to do two live recordings that summer. You took it right away from me. And nobody, nobody, nobody got COVID. Got COVID. And then thinking about the birthday celebration that he was just talking about with the song, that was in the middle of COVID. Was it? Yes, it was COVID then. Oh. Because it was at the apartment and I was scared to have people a lot of people up. Because oh. I had just had it. Oh. But that oh. was in the middle of COVID. And the song that we were singing, you know what I'm saying? You see how God ties things in? I mean, they don't know the song, but you heard the song. And, you know, just the, once again, the lyrical content of the song, God knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Even though Jay wanted the music to be released in 2020, we needed the song. We needed to sing the songs in yeah. the global mm -hmm. pandemic to help us through the pandemic. Wow. Wow. Because the songs that y'all haven't heard, that we haven't heard all of volume seven through 10, but the mm -hmm. one that we've heard ministered to us. Almost couldn't get through the live recording. Oh, because God. Yeah, they we were going through it. It was going through Jesus because the songs meant they, you know, what I'm saying like that it was it was God's timing for yeah. that. You know, what I'm saying even though you wanted it then, God is allowing it now. And look how you've been able to meet the perfect producer. And you know, what I'm saying things are going. You're not having to do it all by yourself. And you know, what I'm saying things like that. So it's God's timing. Yeah. And you know, it like you said, it sure takes growth to get to that because. In, in times you just don't understand. And especially when you know that what you're doing is for the Lord. It's not planning, like I've said before, I'm not planning a 
house party where there's going to be drinking and 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 R and B and rap music and all this kind of stuff. I'm planning something that God has put on my heart that will minister to somebody. Yeah. That somebody will be blessed and helped. And you know, I think about that. That you know, we talk about me listening to gospel music and all of this, or listening to a sermon while I drive. It's not because. I'm just this holier than thou because I have plenty of my own proclivities, but that's just what I'm drawn to. Yeah. It's what I'm drawn to. It's not that I'm trying to put on a show for anybody. This has been, since I was a child, I would put on gospel music. Do you look at all my CDs from back years back in my teens? I, all of it is gospel music. I didn't, I don't think I, I, if I bought something secular, I don't remember it. I don't remember because I, nothing interested me like that. Of course, I'd be exposed to secular music, but it just didn't interest me. And so again, you, you, you're you doing things that are ministry related and you're believing God to get the glory out of it, not recognizing that he's going to get the glory, but it's, it may not look like how we expect it. But you know that that even though you said that when you were a child you did it, mm -hmm. God knew then who you would be. And you know what I'm saying? That seed was planted in you early. And you could have done something else, but that's not who you was. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking like peer pressure. Like you never were peer pressured to did you go to dances as a child? Mm -hmm. And you danced at the dance? Mm -hmm. And you still went home and did gospel music. See, as a child, if that was me, I would still be home listening to the, to the other people. I would be whatever, just fellowship with everybody else and doing what they're doing. But when I got back to what I what I'm doing, it's it's church music. Yeah. Gospel music. You know, I like this next thing that I highlighted. It says, uh, it was then. When I'd find myself standing with lifted hands, singing a song of spontaneous praise or crying with tears running down my face. And uh, he's talking about being able to remember what the Lord has done. And what got me in that sentence is when I'd find myself, because sometimes when you start remembering what the Lord has done, it's just like at the beginning of this of this broadcast where Shante said a few words. And next thing you know, I'm crying with tears running down my face thinking about how good God has been in spite of the crushing that has taken place. And so, you know, it's times where you having a regular conversation, you introducing your broadcast and just getting into the show. And one thing is said to make you remember that triggers you. And next thing you find yourself in, in songs of praise of spontaneous praise, lifting hands or tears running down your face, one or the other. And I just, you know, when you have found yourself in that position, so many times throughout your journey, you know, you begin to thank, I thank God for the times that I'm able to be sensitive to something, a memory, that's something that has been said that I'm not crying because I'm frustrated or upset or something like that. I'm crying because of the gratitude that's in my heart. And that makes a difference. Thank God for the many memories. And see, that's why I have to remember that some of the good, I mean, you start counting up the good, it really does outweigh the bad because as you count up the good that the Lord has done, you don't have time to think about the bad because it's so much good. If you really, I mean, you know, I, I, I think sometimes just the thought about what heaven would be like, uh, and this is just Jabez, it's not biblical, anything like that, just, you know, my imagination is that in heaven, it'll be a huge movie theater and God is the host. He is the, he's the orator and he's going through each and every one of our lives on the big screen where everyone that is in heaven can see what the other person has been through. And, but the, but you know, the thing about it would be that we will be able to see God's hand through all of even the lower times that we experience that he will explain, okay, I know y'all see that I allowed this, this person to go through this, but if you will look at this, that's why that happened so that this person would be aligned and ready for this in that season. And, you know, just imagining God doing that is something, you know, if that, that will, that in itself would, would spark 
eternal praise and worship of God because we're seeing constantly all the lives, all the souls that are in heaven. And you talk about the lives that we live in, really going through the seconds and details of the moment that we that we weren't aware of. And look, look at this heartbeat. Look at that blood running right there. And if I would allow this, that that would have bust loose or that would have happened, but I protected them in this moment and they weren't even aware. Things that we really were not aware of in this life, that God protected us. Just the thought of that. Really, it just it just, you know, it is that what grace and mercy came from? Not necessarily. I just see no. I just see God's grace and mercy in my life, period. And, you know, we were talking about, uh, I saw a post about well-written songs. You know, I was thinking when I listened to this track, between like the bridge, the verse, and it's like two, two distinct, two or three distinct bridges, uh, two, I think, in the song. And they say something different about grace and mercy. And to me, that sparks or, or measures as a well-written song because I'm giving you multiple ways to look at grace and mercy in your life. And so it's not just saying one thing over and over. It, the message, it remains the same throughout the entire song, but the way that it is expressed changes. You look at grace and mercy in this, this light, then you look at it in another light. What an honor. What a privilege. I'm going to say something about what Jay read. Um, There's something else I learned from Jay. Is lyrical content of a song. Like Jay always asks us um, when we hear a song, like who's our audience? Mm. And when when reading the, the sentence that he just read about and he's given um, the example of how, you know, he could, he, well, well y'all saw the example when he cried at the beginning of the show that the song that came to my mind is My Worship is For Real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we sing that song and people always just seem to go through on that song. But is your worship truly for real? Can you just really just break down at the goodness of God and thinking about, you know what I'm saying, his grace and his mercy in your life Absolutely. as much as you can about the grief that comes in your life? You know what I'm saying? What is that outweigh wow. the grief? And I, you know, wow. I always... When we see that song, sometimes I'll be like, oh, Lord, here we go. Oh. Because the church seemed to always go through on that for some mm -hmm. reason. But I'm thinking, is our worship truly for real? Mm -hmm. Like, do we always cry on just this song? Or do we always just, you know, get over overjoyed with or feel with joy when we hear any of God's music? You know what I'm saying? Is it just when you talking about you don't know how much I've been through? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, anytime you think about it. Jay always says that, you know, like, I don't need nobody. I can do this all by myself. It don't matter what y'all do in the audience. Right. That's because his worship is for real. He okay, can beautiful. think about, you know. Lord Jesus. My birthday's tomorrow. Yippee. I, you know, let me go turn up. Jay's mm -hmm. crying, thanking God. You know what I'm for saying? Thinking year. about what he's, yeah. Because his worship is real. It's the lyrical content of the song is truly a testament. Truly. Yeah. I don't have anything highlighted on these pages, just so you know. Okay. okay. I'll highlight it next. The giver receives joy in return because they were doing nothing but expressing their love. That's what I was talking about earlier. When I read that, it made me think about Shantae playing in this party. It's nothing that she expects of me in return. I mean, of course, I know I've got to be there for her on her birthday. I, you know, me trying to put together all this that she's done for a party. She probably have to play in her own party and I help with it <laughs> as much as I can. But and see, look at look at that. Look at that. Isn't that interesting, y'all? No, but it's the uh, difference. What's the difference? What it's is the difference? difference? No, oh, no. We should get into the difference. Oh, well, we almost done with the book anyway, so. Oh. What's the difference? I'm going to tell you. I'll tell y'all what the difference is. Jay don't see it. Jay has made straight A's this whole time. In okay, so have you. Uh-huh. So next, what? Jay has joined the National Honor Society. Okay. I have not. Oh, girl, okay. please. Shantae, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's time to cut you off. Because sickness, as, as it just seems like every week is something. So what have you endured and, and overcome? <laughs> and how your children in your class love you and y'all who get who and hiding on the phone with each other and I love you and all this kind of stuff. 
that is worth being celebrated. Even if they are the party, you invite all your babies to the party. It's worth it. Go back to say again, when you have had so much darts and arrows, like, you know, they say the weapons will form, but they won't prosper. The weapons have been formed, but they haven't prospered in your life. And that's something I've witnessed. And this is, but here's the thing. But I've witnessed that in your life too. Uh huh. Birthdays for the past, like, three or four years. On the birthday around Father's Day, all the time, you know, and I, for one, you can't surprise them, you know. So it's like I didn't even try to surprise him this year, and I didn't know he was going to release a single on his birthday. So it's just like, why not celebrate? That's a reason to celebrate. Truly. God has carried you all year long. In spite I hope of that's all, all of that is in your notes because that's you know this is really good. Well, I told you I had a, a speech, but I'm not going to... I have to rewrite it. because well, that's You need to add all this in because it's... But, it's you know, after being carried for so long, and what y'all don't know is, or y'all, some of y'all do know, maybe you don't. When Jay first got on to dialysis, Jay was a very hard person to be on dialysis. He did not want to go three days a week. Oh, no. He's gotten off, taking himself off and all kinds oh, of stuff. Yeah. But Jay gets up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if, those of you that know Jay, he is not a morning person. Gets up before the crack of the light is still dark still outside. Dark. God didn't even raise the light yet. Uh-oh. And he has gone to dialysis. You know, and then goes to school right afterwards. You know what I'm saying? That is a reason to celebrate a birthday. Oh, you be looking crazy. That's a reason like, to celebrate. Okay. <laughs> True. They just wouldn't. They wouldn't care what they had going on. Oh. Or they would, you know, they would just say, oh, well, I've been in the house. I'm going to come home and sleep all day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You still go after them. You still Even go on days of being day. sick. Oh, God yeah. help us. That's a reason. God has carried you another year. And if we don't celebrate you now, then, you know, when God do call and you home in the next say, 30 yeah. years, 45 <laughs> years, 55 years. Oh, God. Then, so get up there and say all these things then. Because what well, you can hear them. Yeah. It's pointless. You've got to give people their flowers while they're here. Mm -hmm. And you are a believer of that. So, then, so you're going to give people a few minutes to say something on the program? I'm going to say something. Oh. Whether you want to or not. Everybody oh. Is go to every, you, you're on it. Well, by that time, this this will be over. But oh. everybody in that building gonna say something to you. Oh, that's on the that's I have a program plan. Oh, a event planner. Oh, yeah, I plan that out. Oh. We start with the youngest to the oldest. Oh, everybody in there is gonna give you a birthday wish because that's how you know you giving a person their flowers while they're here. Oh, so is this gonna be recorded so I can remember it live? It's the birthday, it's a, you know, uh, it's the birthday celebration. Oh, okay. I mean, then you know, live is something you can keep forever. And you probably need to do it on my phone then, so that it might not be public. Yeah, it's not public. Okay. Hey, man, moving on. That's good, Shantae. Okay. So I feel like I'm see my response is better about it. Um, God is softening my heart, and you know, I do, I do agree. I, but, you know, I just agree with official days being celebrated, period. Mm -hmm. That every time you're able to cross a birthday, that is your day. And, you know, even I think, I think about past birthdays where I was made to feel like, oh, I, I can't say it like I want to say it, mm -hmm. but it was an F word, forget your birthday. And, with, and this is people that are with me. Making me feel like your yeah, it's your birthday, but so what? And when it's somebody's birthday, I try my best not to have them feel like that. I want you to know what what do you want to do? You know, I was thinking about um we were in New Orleans for Shantae's birthday last year, and even though I was at a convention. I kept asking her, okay, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go eat? What, you know, and ready to sponsor the day. Uh, and so it's those kind of things that really make a difference. And like, we should, I, I do agree that we should celebrate. The only problem that I have had is you're doing these things and you're celebrating others, but then when it's your turn, you know, it's kind of few and far between. And that's why I do feel convicted because as the birthday man 
I've been saying for years, and I, I've, I've taken what we're doing with the JT show and the J Bass Today show at 31 episodes in, that even though it hasn't happened yet, it doesn't mean that I won't do it because it stays on my mind of gathering birthdays so that those that I know who are important to me, I know when their birthday is coming. I know a few days ahead so I can start planning what am I going to do for their birthdays as the birthday man. And so, you know, that's going to come, but it hadn't come yet. But the fact that I'm still convicted on it means that it's something that I've got to do. And because, you because know I believe in celebrating. Yeah, because you know what it's like to not be celebrated. Well, yeah. or you know, or to celebrate on your your special yeah. day. Yeah. To you know, what I'm saying like you said to make you feel like that you know it don't matter or something like that. Mm -hmm. I remember it wasn't last year for your birthday, or maybe it, it was, was definitely like, forty. No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, maybe so. No, it was definitely forty too. I don't know what you're gonna say, but that honey, forty was something else. Mm -hmm. Jay is not a person to surprise. I think. But I had found this restaurant in Houston. Oh, you remember yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And uh, I had to tell him that he was going to go see somewhere to get him. She showed, she showed <laughs> Strickland. I was ready to get my, my, my selections. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was ready to get my money and she didn't miss them. <laughs> and she had quoted a good amount to it. I'm like, oh, I'm so sure going to that. And all for a birthday surprise. Oh, and I should have still continued to reach for my money. <laughs> oh, God. Birthday. Yeah. That was like days after your birthday. And was it after? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And I know it was because I remember on your birthday, you know, you couldn't do look, all yeah. you wanted to do. I still think that was around 40. Seriously. Maybe. Maybe. Because, because 40 was birthday. like one of the worst birthdays. Maybe. Yeah. And that is sad because I believe it. That's why it's kind of it's strange to celebrate at 42 in a way that I would have thought that I would have celebrated at 40. And it's, it goes back to the same thing that God knows when. Just like with the CDs and the timing of that or, or the, the songs being released, it's the same thing with these kind of things. He knows when. And so even now, you know, I'm, I'm going to appreciate Sunday and I'm appreciating the journey to Sunday because I'm hearing I'm actually hearing the things that are going into this. She gave a report that she had to cancel RSVP because it's the list is full and just to hear that you know with the amount of people that are supposed to be there, just the thought of that said something and so I honor God you know just being able to even imagine that really speaks volumes and so and uh, yeah. sorry you feel that way because you know what it feel like to have two people there. That's right. That's right. And it, I'm going to say it again. Going live, sharing, inviting people, being open to different, whoever want to come celebrate, come celebrate. You open it up. Most people don't do that for their birthday. I like, I'm like, hey, let's all get together. Even if I don't know you, we we will enjoy this birthday together. And, and it's but it's always open. Because you didn't want it to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's happened because people haven't been receptive to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I and I told you this last night. I didn't care. I got banned on Facebook. Jay don't even know this because I kept spamming people's inboxes with his birthday flyer. Oh. So Facebook banned me. I couldn't oh. post for a week or so. Oh. Because they thought I was a spammer. Uh oh. And kept saying, Oh, you coming to this party. I don't care what's father said, bring your daddy with you. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I was told, I guess at your 40th or maybe or maybe 41. That oh, it's Father's Day. Yeah. And I'm like, well, he can't help that his birthday. You know, that's like somebody being born on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like not being able to fully still celebrate be able to celebrate your birthday. Yeah. God told him to be born that day. Mm -hmm. We have to take like a look at how the next person will feel. You know, like how would he feel because his birthday fell on Father's Day that I didn't go to support because I'm going to go eat lunch with my daddy and then to when when field. the invitation for your daddy and you. Is open. Go we'll sit in a restaurant because the food gonna be ready for you. And it's gonna be soul food. So oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, mouth is set already. Do y'all understand me? I mean, I hope this little eating I'm doing now is over because so I can really, okay, really put a dent. Oh, okay. Today. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a long one. Okay. Uh, the receipt, appreciation, and proper use of his investment in us builds confidence that he can trust us with more. 
So when we receive, appreciate, and use uh, his investments properly, God knows he can trust us with more. And you know, truly, I can say, as I look over my life and where I am now, even though I have mishandled some things along the way, for the most part, there has been consistency in it, in, in appreciating the investment in uh, uh, using the investment properly, uh, sharing the music and all these kind of things. And so it, God knows that he can trust me with more. And so that's how all of us should be, that we should receive what the Lord has given us and appreciate it and then use it properly so that he can use us for more. And you'll begin to see it in your life as you do those things. In response to you becoming what he has labored for you to become. It's, he said, God throws you a lavish party. You know, I kind of kind of put it to the thought of this particular Sunday party. Just thinking of all that Shantae is going through for this party it's almost like this is a God thing because of certain I wouldn't wouldn't expecting it or and at one point didn't want it. it and is so something. I could truly tell you that. Oh, uh oh. Because things when things fall into place, you know it's a God thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm not stressed about the party on Sunday. Now I'm stressed about the times of you know things that's going on that day and how it's gonna go. But as for how the party like Jay said something to me the other day. <laughs> And I kind of just looked at him. He was like, Chance, at first it was this, then it was this. Like, you know, what are you doing? And I was like, well, God told him to do it. God yeah, because she this. spends too much money on this stuff. But And really don't have to be doing that. But, you know. But sure. so God, even things work out. Because things have truly fell into place. Things that I was going to have to worry about, I don't have to worry about. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it literally just worked itself out before I even worked myself up. Oh. Because it's wow. a bad thing. Oh, okay. If it was a God thing, I would be, we would be going right through. Oh, like sweet Jesus. Jesus. As I've seen you do before. As yes. Oh, God. Else. Yeah. With that, certain things you can say no to, but you don't. But I didn't have to do any of that with your partner because it's a God thing. God literally put on my heart to do it. I didn't just say, oh, damn, I'm going to get you a birthday party. You know, the Lord, God knows what you need when you need it, how you need it. Let's go. Okay. The husband man did all the work in cultivating you. I'm at top of 226. That just that he began crushing and fermenting you so that you would be more. It just reading that just brings me back to the scripture that says about him completing the work that he began in us. It's been so many moments where I have had to pray and share with God and reaffirm my trust in him. That I'm tr I'm looking at the issues that I'm dealing with. I'm looking at me, my, my proclivities, standing up and and showing themselves in a moment where I should be focused on him or doing something else, and thinking, God, I'm trusting you to complete this work that you begin. You started this work. You have me here in the earth, and you've been using me for your glory. And so, even though some things it looks like. I'll never be free from it. It looks impossible. I trust that you are able to work this out. You are able to turn my life around. And so just being able to believe that, just to, to know that he is that God, kind of God who is able and that he didn't start something that he is not able to finish. Reading that, knowing that, that's why I thank God for the word, being able to bring that out. It wasn't this because I hadn't, I hadn't read that. I've been, it was the word that told me about him completing the work that he began in me. And I've been standing on that. And so we've got to be able to stand on some of these words that God has given us and promises so that when it looks like I'm a, I'm an impossible case, that I just can't be free. I just can't get it together. That he reminds me first and foremost, my grace is sufficient for you. That's why songs like your grace and mercy are birthed because my grace that has covered you uh, and given you what you didn't deserve, which is life all this time. And my mercy has killed back what you did deserve, which is death. All of this has been included in every moment of your life and has guided you thus far. And so if I have brought you say thus far, surely I can take you all the way. And so being able to trust that, being able to believe that it makes a difference as you're walking through your journey. Um.
You know, I have something to say. Okay. Just like, and I'm going to go back to your music. And I was, once again, I look up at this because this is what's within my view. Okay. I always read seven volumes, seven through ten. God started in you on volume one. Mm -hmm. And he's going to see through the volume ten. Mm. Although he put it in, he gave it to you. He put it in you. Not only did he put it in you, but he knew that you didn't have the money to take care of it. He knew that people were going to come through. He's also giving you the visions of fundraisers. And you know what I'm saying? Who comes up with the keys that, you know what I'm saying? The baskets. And when you see other people doing stuff. You go on and what, what fits yeah. with me? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, he didn't just give it, he also gave because that takes courage. Oh, yeah, to, it definitely to, takes courage. Then 50 50 be strong and courageous. Oh my god, like it takes courage. He not just did not just give you the means, he gave you the courage to go after what and you strategy. Did done. Wow. Strategy wow. that's the word. Wow. He gave you the strategy to do to go afterward because some people he give visions to, okay. and wow, you know. I said this on the last, I don't know what JT show on the J Bass Today show. God gave us 10 fingers and 10 toes. Okay. You can live without a finger. You can move without a finger. God just so happened gave you every sense that you need to take care of what you need for how you need to. He could have gave you a little bit of it and gave the other piece to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And you would have had to go to resources after resources after resources, see if this person how to do this, 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 and this. You can create your own flyers. You can create your own whatever you need to do. He gave wow. you all of those sources. Wow. And you know what? You know what? That brings me to the parable of the talents, as you say that, it just kind of brings, illuminates that scripture mm -hmm. that the one he gave all those talents to, that he put them to use yep. for the master's glory. And mm -hmm. that being able to say that, being able just to see that. <laughs> because, you know, wow. it, it's something <laughs> to be able wow. to release volumes one through six. Yeah. But you didn't just do that, just being able to release it because, like you said, all of that was you except for drums. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people can't do that, yeah. you know, to be able to create cameras and stuff. Like I created a, a video for my job and I struggled with that because that's not my area. You know what I'm saying? Like you can get on that computer and do what you need to do. He mm -hmm. gave you everything you needed. And just like he did that, he going to do the same thing for volume seven through 10 and go on and on and on. Okay. You know, uh, I haven't asked this. I probably shouldn't ask on here, but is there going to be a, sec a a part of the program where I can show my video, my birthday video that I'm working on? Speaking of videos. How are they going to, how are you going to do it? Good question. I don't know. I can bring my overhead from work. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't know about it. I was thinking maybe we could pack the TV and ca if I download it to my cell phone, we can cast it to the TV. But even in such a hall, you won't have enough volume. We'd have to have some kind of something That's to get sound. Yeah. You can put it on the wall. Oh, no, that's not going to work because I would have to bring the cart to. I don't know. We'll have to work it out. Okay. Yeah, cause I, stay tuned. I, I'm working. It has taken some time to get through because I do want to incorporate a lot of the old pictures as well that I have accumulated. And y'all, when I say there has been an accumulation of photos over the years, I look at those as reminders. There have been so many hugs. There have been so many smiles. And that is something that needs to be documented so that, you know, if you and that person have some kind of disagreement, remember when we were we're in this happy moment. Remember how we felt when we saw each other? I mean, but still, yeah. yeah. I'm going to say this. Uh -oh. I, and I really shouldn't say this, oh. but I'm going to say it anyway. Oh. Jay knows that I've been printing pictures, uh -huh. okay, for his birthday party. Mm -hmm. He don't know what the, I mean, they're just centerpieces. Mm -hmm. But I have, what Jay have so much stuff on his Facebook, so oh. many pictures, so many albums. Uh -oh. It's kind of hard going through between the the uh, OMG post that he put in there. And I had started downloading pictures with like different people that I knew was going to come uh -huh. to the party okay. and printing them out. But it just, it got to be too much for me because 75, it's just too much. I, I don't have no way to put them. Uh -oh. But that was my original vision was to capture 
you know what I'm saying? Like, not like a seating arrangement, but like so that they can see, you know what I'm saying? Like their relationship. Be reminded, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I should really do that. I'm like, but well, it ain't their birthday and Jay's birthday. But I should have went with my first mind. Mm. I really should have. Um, well, I'm going to try to put as many into my video as I can. I mean, maybe we can do some work on the video together and I can include it in. But I, the main thing I need to do is do my talking part. And I really need to try to get it. I really want to have it mixed and mastered so the sound is right. That's going to be the be the big thing. Anyway, okay. We're almost done, y'all. This has been a long, a long episode, but we're making it. Okay. He has performed in you the investment he has placed within you. Did you read that? Oh, you know what? I And I highlighted the front part of the sentence. The master is celebrating you, the completion of the labor he has performed in you. Yeah, I hadn't read it, but yeah, I, I, that's the part I highlighted. Wow. He, the labor is, okay. Yeah. And just think, you know, we, the thing about reading things like this is we, oftentimes we don't realize what we got. We don't realize just how blessed we are. You know, even though Shantae says she struggled with the video, she still has something to put together for her class. And let me tell you something. I don't know if I even told you. Everybody was just in love with the video. Oh. Once again, another crushing hard moment. Mm -hmm. And it worked out. So many people. Wow. Every last one of my parents requested the video. I wow. had to send it to them. Wow. They absolutely loved it. Wow. And I was like, really? See? They loved it. And that goes again to you being obedient to what the Lord is leading you to do. Yes. And you never know how, how others will be blessed because of that. Wow. That's good, Shantae. See? That's worth celebrating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. God's presence cannot be filled with anything less than complete all peace, security, purpose, righteousness, and worship. You know, that... When I read that, it just reminded me. And even for him to use these specific words, a lot of that comes up in the praise and worship. Like while I'm crying, I'm thinking about how in awe I am of God and how he's moving and, and the things that I'm able to remember. And I'm, I'm the peace I have, the security I feel to just be able to Worship freely that, you know, you have to feel secure. And then when you realize that you're walking in purpose and righteousness and you, you're you being able to experience worship, uh, that what a what an honor to be in God's presence, that all of that comes with it. You know, I've been talking about for these past few weeks, the things that we just don't realize come included in the benefit package of being saved. It's so much that comes along with it. Yes, there are some things that we have to access, but there are some free things that just just come with salvation that we that oftentimes we are not even aware that we have this blessing. And uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why study is so important, so that you can know what blessings are available to you. You know, I don't know that I have I, I don't know all of the blessings that are available, but I show sure know a, a few of them. And they just knowing those few help get me through. Just knowing those few help me get through. Um, just knowing those few help me get through. Just knowing those few help me. Okay, get moving on. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> How you gonna move on from my jingle? <laughs> when hearing Jay say that, it makes me think about um, working in a Christian school and how we tell our kids like. Just to say the Pledge of Allegiance, how, you know what I'm saying, it's a, we're privileged in order to do that. Mm -hmm. Having this relationship with God, we're privileged because I don't know the religion, so don't come at me. The religion where they don't they don't lift their hands and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where is it Church of God of Christ? Oh, where they don't have church music when they... Church of Christ. Church of Christ, where they don't have music in their church. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just, they don't sing to music. They don't sing, and I'm like... That's they still I mean. sing. They do sing now. Oh, they just don't have. Oh, they have great ears too to sing. Oh my God. Okay, so they. There's some great well, acapella the Who did it? Oh, uh -oh. Um, oh, they couldn't sing. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh God. So 
You know what I'm saying? God. It makes me think like, and this is a question. This this is kind of a topic. Oh. But how did you become Baptist? Because your mom was Baptist? We weren't Baptist. Yeah, I wasn't Baptist. It's just Baptist churches that God has pulled me to. I'm open for, for any, you know, pretty much any. As long as they preach in Jesus, uh, I'm I'm with it for the okay. most part. Baptist is just where he led me. Because I didn't, when even for the most part, I've, I've called, considered myself interdenominational because there are things that I see in certain quote unquote denominations that it, you know, it's okay, okay with me. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I can't say I'm non denomination, but there are certain things that I do believe from different ones. So just ask them, you know, because I just think about the different religions and the different types of music, and, you know what I'm saying, for different religions and how God chose you to sing this, not only gospel music, but I mean, it's not really bad, but you know what I'm saying, like upbeat, you know what I'm saying, like music, instrumental gospel music. Because you could be singing slow hymns, you know, but God gave you the, the what's that? What's the word? What's the musical word for it? I don't know where you're going, honey. Sorry. Like I said, like upbeat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know the type of music you sing. You don't sing. Forget it, Jay. Okay. Yeah, because I'm wet. <laughs> Oh okay. god. You ain't even try to follow me. Is it contemporary music? Maybe contemporary music. Okay, it's not just all traditional. Because your music is a little bit of everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay. Like that's, that's a, okay. Yeah. Thank God we got to that. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh God. Anyway, okay. Well, the last thing I have highlighted is what well, is this easy? God invites us to a feast that puts all others to shame. You know, mm -hmm. thinking about even just like the party Sunday, as much as Shantae is putting into this, it's just not, it's to me, it's it's nothing compared to what heaven will be like. The the praise and the, the worship that we will experience because we are there in his presence. And so just thinking, you know, but I know this is going to be amazing because we've already uh, bore witness that it is a God thing. So if God is putting this together, it's got, to, it's got, it's going to be nothing but nothing short of, of amazing. And so thank God that others won't be able to see this and, you know, try to do something, but we will be able to be done celebrated by the time this is uh, shown and you'll be able to see it on Facebook. So thank you all so much for joining us for the JT show, the JBM keys fundraiser. Is still going on. We still have the same number of people who have supported. I thought you added there them. is one. There is one person that I want to add just because uh, he sent a significant amount of money for my birthday, uh, and so I thought about giving him two keys, but I, I'm going to use uh, some of that money for my birthday. So I'm going to give him one key out of what he uh, sent, and so then we will have. Um, seven keys taken care of so we have 88 left we, i mean we have 81 total so that means we have 81 left and you can be on this board this is going to be framed we have we have 88 oh 88 total. okay i'm sorry i i don't think this okay sorry. okay it's okay so we have 81 left and you can be a part you can be a part. Like I was trying to say, this will be framed and go down in my history books. It's going on my wall so that I can remember. And, and now Shantae has given me a new, fresh way to look at this uh, and being able to see we persevered with the Keys fundraiser. I'm, we're going to keep this up until all 88 Keys are filled, however long that takes. And so, you know, being a, being able to see this one, it, you know, you look at this and see that, that it was a fundraiser, then we'll be able to remember a lot of the other fundraisers that we've done in order to have some kind of strategy to get this done because I don't have the money. And so, and I can't be ashamed to ask others if I don't have it. So, you know, being able to, for her to use the word courage, to have the courage to ask and, you know, it's hard when you have that courage and still people don't support or respond. It is hard. 
but you've got to be strong, which is why God told Joshua to be strong and courageous. You've got to have both and know that if God has set you on this path, he's going to take care of you no matter how long it takes. It's not in your timing. You just be obedient to do what he said. And he gave me the keys for fundraiser. So we're going to be obedient to hold on to it until it gets done. We're going to continue to mention it on the J uh, Tay show. We're going to continue to mention it on the J Bass Today show. And we will celebrate on the day that it is completely filled. And if you're part of the J Bass Ministries Angels on Facebook, you will be able to have a, a bird's eye view of where this money is being spent as it comes in. I have money in savings now that we haven't put towards anything just yet because we're focused on the on the um the single. But once we release the single Sunday, I hope to hit the pavement running Tuesday back in the studio to work on the rest of uh, J Bass Songbook Volume 7. So we're, we're going to continually need funds. And yes, I will be using birthday funds that come in to help with this. And so even if you if you specify J Bass, because it's your birthday, I'm going to support the fundraiser. You know, I I will not use it for my birthday. It will be going toward the fundraiser and studio time because that's that's my biggest goal right now. Well, it's already your birthday right now, so oh. this is this is the after. So if the Jay's birthday oh. is here, the you can is you can go ahead. See this Sunday, and mm -hmm. if it's you still to want to support, you can you can basically yes because it's already sixteen. Thank the Lord. Thank God. Thank all God. right, come on now. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining the JT Show. Good night. Good day. <laughs> Good night. It's the JT Show.